hell can you do this to me? What is this? <laughs> Don't go! Really, Craig, seriously, you're gonna lie with the two of us standing right in front of your face? Are you a moron? You told me. You told me it was over with her. You told me it was over with her. It was. You bitches are ganging up on me. We were building a relationship on trust. <laughs> no way out. <laughs> wow. Okay, so obviously you two morons are perfect for each other, and I am just gonna bow out of this one and shake your hand and call it a night. No! What are you doing now? <gasps> the funeral you just came from. What? Oh no, he's not dead. He works in a bar in the East Village. Well, wouldn't it have just been easier for you guys just to have a three-way? What? Three-ways release a lot of built-up tension in relationships. Huh. I would have thought it would be the opposite. No. <laughs> oh shit, are you freezing? Do you want to come inside? It's like getting really cold out here. Oh, that would be great. I don't know what I'm going to do when it gets to be winter. <laughs> I don't speak Russian. Bulgarian. I don't know. That's Kira. She's uh, letting me crash here since the, you know. Oh, that's the funeral you just came from. What? No, it's the divorce. Flashback. Oh my god, my dollhouse. I forgot I left it here. Yeah, well, I didn't forget. It's been standing in my fucking record collection for a year well, already. Why don't you just put it in the closet? Yeah, well, I would have liked to, except the closet's filled with your shit, too. Oh my god, I've been looking for this. Shark attack, a violent jolt, a flash of monstrous teeth, a streak of blood in the water, and a terrified surfer tries to desperately paddle to shore. Why would you even collect <laughs> all this shit? That's what I don't understand. You, you know what? Why don't you just take your fucking musty petticoats, your 20 bags of yarn, <laughs> your broken beta tapes, and just get the fuck out of my life, hey, okay? Hey, hey, hey. I'm just trying to get all this shit out of my life, man. Dude, bro, you know what? I just went through the same fucking thing. Bitch had me buried under 20 years of Beanie Babies. Had to go. It's choking the life out yeah. of me. I know, I couldn't even express myself, dude. Every time I open the closet, I'm taking my life in my hands. They should put caution tape around the closet. It's like playing Jenga. You pull one wrong piece, you're buried alive. You're done, man. These women are good for what? Collecting dust and debt, dude. Who collects petticoats? What is this, the Old West in 1810? Tell them to get on the horse and get the fuck out of Dodge. Giddy up, motherfucker. You said it, bro. Right? Let's get Let's go, a fucking man. drink. Come on. Let's... Oh my god, my Prissy Polly doll. I forgot about you. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. Kira, can you please put a liner in the recycling bin this time? Just did my nails. Kira, this is Missy. She lives on the stoop. Hi. Oof. Um, I don't speak German. <laughs> We're like neighbors. <laughs> nice. Kira here was kind enough to set me up on a computer date with a very special man. Oh, that sounds great. Yeah, I'm a good friend. <laughs> can't do anything right. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Oh my god, I don't, I really don't mean to hurt your feelings. You're, you seem like a really nice guy. Um, you know, uh, look, um, I don't have any cash on me, per se, so, um, do you take square? <laughs> Crank sex is the best sex. Yeah, but not for four hours. And Kira, thanks a lot, I couldn't walk for like a week. Oh, well. So, the male prostitute died. Probably, I don't know, but that's not who it was. You're gonna meet me at the club tonight, right? Oh, yeah, I'll meet you right up front, I promise. I just have a few errands to run in the village first. What is this thing? What, uh, what kind of party? What kind of party are you going to? Can uh, I come? Yeah, I mean, so my label is making me go to the club tonight to see this band Lake Cambrian, even though they're total fucking assholes. And so the band is going and Missy's going, and I kind of was hoping I could count on you, like, we could be like, you know, like a unified front. Okay, you can count on me. <laughs> Oh, well, did you go that outfit? Do you like it? I love it. You should wear it like every day. No, I can't show up with the same outfit every day. Not like this one. 
<laughs> oh. I will see you later and um, we'll have some fun. Oh, oh bye. bye. <laughs> okay, I'll see you. Bye. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so hot. <sighs> okay, so whose funeral was it? Okay, so it's this guy in my band and we went to this bar in Bushwick and I heard shots outside and then when I ran outside, he was just lying limp on the sidewalk. You can get shot in Bushwick? No, he had a heart attack. He died in my arms. You're thinking of my guitar player from my old band. He was shot at the absinthe party because I think somebody snuck in a blunderbuss. He died in my arms too. About the same time, my drummer died because we went to Flushing and had some bad sushi. We couldn't read the sign that said it was the poison fish. Oh, did he die in your arms too? No, he died in my legs. Well, we'll have fun tonight. Yeah, let's have fun tonight. Thanks. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Navy sunshine! All right, Twindle. Let's see what fresh hell you got for me tonight. Oh, messages, three messages. Let's see. What is this? Hi, I'm Mr. Rosie 661 I'm new here. Uh, I read your profile and I wanted to get to know you a little bit better. Um, I'm attracted to older women. Older women, thanks a lot. I guess for a bunch of reasons. Um, I'd like to take long walks on the beach. The color mauve. What? Cherry bubble gum. Uh, Beanie Babies. <laughs> In fact, I have like 336, no, 337 Beanie Babies. Wow. Seriously. It's really like a 401k or an IRA. It's more of an investment than a hobby. <laughs> Each one of these little babies is worth like $190 according to the price guide. All right, Teutonic Plague. Let me get this straight, you fucking crazy egotistical bitch. Whoa. I sit there and listen to you. As you go on and on about your feminism and all feminist. your crazy ideas for what you think this world should be like, but I have just a little bit to say about my religion and and you know whether it's reasonable to eat human flesh and you can't even be civil for a half a second as I bear my soul to you. Is that legal? Now who's got the open mind? Yeah, think about that for a little while. So as you sit there and drown in your hypocrisy then maybe you should take a step back and, and consider how this pertains to you. No! But it's not like any of this really matters. I mean, I don't really care what you have to say when my dick is in your mouth. Uh, no. So, if, uh, if you and a few of your friends want to get together with me and a few of my friends, I'll show you some of the ideas we have in Oh mind. my god! <laughs> and, uh, you know, is this what women go through? That doesn't mean that, you know, we won't improve your life considerably. Let's see what Bellringer778 has to say. Hi, I'm Sasha. I mean, Bellringer778. Um, well, I came across your profile and I was quite enamored by such an articulate, heavenly, plus size beauty. Plus size? I would be kicking myself if I didn't ask, so I, I wrote this just for you. I was wondering if you would accept an engagement of witty banter between intellectuals. Of course, yeah. this engagement may start off as purely platonic, but my sensual desires will most likely guide our cohesive unity down more erotic, lascivious, and sexual paths that will include but are not limited to passionate makeout sessions under the starlit sky, dry humping, fondling each other's naughty parts, and an abundance of new uncharted sexual positions where I assert my pure dominance in establishing a realm of absolute sovereignty in your nether regions. What? Is this something you would be interested in pursuing? Message me back. Cheers. Honey, who are you talking to? Uh, no, I'm just catching up on season two. Mistress, would you humbly let me graciously jerk off to next time we speak. Please tell me how bad I am. What? No, I'll be down in a minute. Oh my God. Well, I quit. Hey.